H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. When I run this, I get this particular result. So this is related with Toyota and Camry, if you can see that. This is the result for the first object. And then there's a differentiated use like this. This is the result for the second object where we have used uh, Honda and Civic. You see the Pi is 2000. Uh, the model of the Honda car is the model of the Honda car is Honda. This is being called twice because uh, the model is a static global variable. You can use the static global variable in two manners. Either call it by the global variable model or by cars dot model. That is where it's coming twice. Principal manufacturing is Honda. These parts remain same for ABS, acceleration, accelerate method and brakes method. For all the three objects, you can see that. Okay, and this third object result is coming like this. This is for Suzuki and Brezza. So it is showing you the price for Brezza, the Brezza model, and the principal manufacturer Suzuki. But this part, where I have called the ABS method, the accelerate method, and the brakes method, these parts will remain same for all the three objects. I can see that. So this is how we can initialize the object. The next thing I'm going to show you is that if I use a duplicate reference variable, for example, cars object, right? This is cars object referenced by the C1 reference variable. So if I create a duplicate reference variable in the in the localized manner, so let me copy this and paste it above. Okay. So then this becomes object number one. This is becoming object number two. And this becomes your object number three. And this becomes your object number four then. So four objects. But if you see two objects are referenced by the same reference variable. So in a localized manner where I am declaring the reference variable within the body of the method. Any method. It can be main method or ABS method or accelerate method. You cannot have a duplicacy maintained. And that is why it will show you a syntax problem. Duplicate local variable C1. So that is why I either need to comment it, I then need to comment this, and then the syntax error will go, or I have to change the reference variable of the object number by the reference variable can be C4, and then your duplication will go. So I'll comment this at this point of time just for your information. I'm putting it on. The next thing that I want to show is that I want to show this. Uh, I want to show that uh, when I am declaring object number one out here and when I am initializing rather the object number one, it is for Toyota and Camry. So this ABS should show me results for Toyota and Camry. When I am declaring object number two for, uh, this is object number two, object number three rather right now, right now. for Honda and Civic, the ABS uh, body should be showing me the results which is pertaining to your Honda and Civic. Similarly, for object number four, when I'm defining it for Suzuki and Brezza, the ABS or the accelerate method or the brakes method should show me results pertaining to Suzuki and Brezza. How do I do that? So what I can do is that I can actually uh, this will increase whatever I'm trying to do is will in actually increase the dynamicity of uh, the methods being used for each object because object number one is for your uh, Toyota Camry object number two is for Honda and Civic object number three is for Brezza and uh, Suzuki so I want to get the ABS accelerate and brakes body based on the objects that I'm using so what I can do is that I can actually 
do this particular stuff i can declare a reference variable of the cars class now until now the reference variable are localized within the body of the methods okay it can be you can localize it within the body of the main method or accelerate method or your uh, brakes method or your abs method whatever it is now i'll basically refer or create a reference va variable globally the reference variables can be created for the object globally also how do i do that the object has to be created of the cars class okay so i can either let's say cars c1 is equal to new cars i can create the object directly like this and if you see the reference variable c1 is having a light blue color so when you are referring when you creating a reference variable to pinpoint towards the object and you create it within the body of the class file this is the body of the class file you are not creating this reference variable within the body of the main method if you are creating a reference variable of this object of the class file called cars inside the body of the main method it becomes a localized reference variable i can create a reference variable of the object of the cars class inside the body of the abs that becomes a localized reference variable for the abs method but i am creating this reference variable inside the body of the cars class but independent of the method that means i'm not creating within the method now when i'm creating a reference variable like this you see it is coming in light blue color so i can create an object of the cars class and reference with c1 and this becomes a reference variable defined globally so when you are defining a reference variable globally you can use it in any methods present in this particular class so i can also refer the car class something like this cars c2 that's all and i can initialize the object now object is not created i have just created a reference variable of the cars class i have not pinpointed to the object i can pinpoint or create the object in the methods where i'll call this reference variable this global reference variable okay so i'll comment this i will use c2 right now okay and i have not initialized the object for this i have just defined the reference variable of the cars class now i need to pinpoint this reference variable towards the objects i can do that in the respective methods where i want to call it so let's say i go to abs and here i can declare c2 equal to new cars now if you see out here there is a problem change c2 to static now why c2 to static because this is a static method so what i can do is that as a, as we have seen our in our theoretical knowledge reference variable which are global can have static and non static and can have public specifiers like sorry uh, access specifiers like public protected private and default so i can make this as static so they can call it within the static main method otherwise i cannot call it in a, inside the static main method okay so what i can do right now is that uh this static keyword is not for the cars class because classes cannot have static or non static unless it is part of nested classes that we have discussed earlier okay now this static is a keyword defined for this reference variable c2 please remember that similarly if i define the access specifiers for the reference variable c2 okay the access specifiers like your public protected default and uh, private will be for the reference variable not for the cars class okay so then i can use c2 out here in the abs you see the red underline has gone moment i made it static and then i can now i am pinpointing c2 towards the object out here and this object is created where inside the abs method and if you see c2 is in light blue color that means it's a reference variable which is defined globally now i can basically define 
the C2 dot model or rather I don't have to define it model with C2 because model is anyway uh, static. So I can call it directly out here. And the model value has to be in string format. So let me put Camry. Camry is a model of Toyota. And then I can use what? I can use this model. So I can write down, uh, just remove this. You can write down model plus, this is calling the static global variable model. So what will print out? Camry has I would change it to has, has ABS to make it safer. Okay. Now I'm calling the ABS inside your first object. This is the first object. I'm calling ABS inside first object. I'm calling ABS inside your second object. I'm calling ABS inside your third object. So if I run the class file right now, what am I getting? I'm getting Camry has ABS okay for the first object and that is fine because the principal manufacturer is Toyota and the model is Camry but second object is for Honda and Civic why should I get Camry I should get Civic has has ABS to make it safer why should I have Camry for the third object where I have defined principal manufacturer as Suzuki and Brezza why should Camry count come out here so what should I do to get the respective results. So I should get the result that Brezza has good ABS system or for the second object I should get Civic has good ABS system. For the first object I should get Camry has good objects, uh, good uh, ABS system. So what should I do for that? So what I can do is that in the ABS uh, method I can define a parameter called mod is nothing but a parameter type which is of string type and I will I will right now comment these two and what I will do is that I will put the value of mod I will call mod out here. This becomes a parameter variable to be called and uh, above in the first object where I am calling mod now I have to define it. Let's say with in the string format. This is the first object. Yeah, this is a source of when I'm calling ABS, I'm not defining the parameter value. That is why it is showing you a syntax error. So I'll define the I'll pass on the parameter value as Camry. In the second object so here also, I can pass on Camry because I'm calling the ABS twice. And uh, here also ABS is showing you syntax error. So I'll pass on the value as uh, this second object is Honda and Civic. The model is Civic. So I'll put Civic out here. Here also I will put Civic. And in the third object also I have called ABS. So I will put here. Yeah, this is for Brezza and Suzuki. The model is Brezza. So I'll put Brezza as the parameter value. I'm passing the parameter value in the ABS method being called for the third object. Done. Now, if I run the class file right now, I'll, let us see what is the results coming for the three objects. So, after saving the class file, run it. Let us see what result I am getting. 
so for the first object which is for the Toyota and Camry I'm getting Camry for ABS for second object which is having Honda and Civic as a principal manufacturer and model I'm getting for Civic for the ABS system and similarly for the Suzuki Brezza I'm getting Brezza for this for this ABS out here and that's fine that is logical right now that means pertaining to each model I'm getting the results for the ABS method similarly now out here if you see I can this is the accelerate method so I want to basically again throw out uh, this accelerate method pertaining to the model and the principal manufacturer for the three objects created now as far as this particular static reference global variables concerned okay uh, this is static and static global reference variables can be called inside a non-static also that's the rule uh, that's a pretty uh, flexible rule so as far as the object is concerned I can call the C2 reference variable and create the object of cars class inside your accelerate method it will not show you any kind of problem just for your reference I am showing you I will comment it now what I am doing going to do is that I will pass on let's say string uh, mod again and I will put something known as I will declare the mod out here and concatenate with the rest of the value so this accelerate method is being called in all the three objects which I have made in the main method unlike your accelerate <coughs> I will also call the mod out here which represents nothing but the model and I can basically just put it as has and concatenate the string with this and I've called the accelerate method and the break method in the three objects which is being made inside the main object so this is called without the parameter value so that is why it is showing you a problem so I will for the first object the accelerate parameter value can be again Camry this can be again for your Camry for the brakes also because the first object is for Toyota and Camry the second object is for your Honda and Civic so accelerate I'll pass on the parameter as Civic here also and pass on Civic third object is for Suzuki and Brezza so I have to pass on the parameter out here to Brezza pass on the parameter value as Brezza out here and after this when I save the class file and run it I'll get the concerned result as I wish for for this Toyota and Camry I am getting initial acceleration for Camry and brakes for Camry for the second object which is for Honda and Civic I am getting the acceleration for Civic brakes for Civic and for the third object created inside the main method is for Suzuki Brezza so I am getting the initial acceleration for Brezza and brakes for Brezza and that makes my life and the log logics uh, of the results much more simpler and better to understand okay as far as the reference variable is concerned uh, we can as we have seen we can have the reference variables with the static or I can also create a, a non-static reference variable so I can create a reference variable let's say cards C3 this is non-static with a capital letter C this is non-static uh, reference variable C3 similarly I can use all the you know public access uh, specifiers like I can create public um, static static uh, cards let's say c4 I cannot use uh, duplicate reference variables so let's say I duplicate it out here in globally also it will show you a syntax problem I'll copy this and make it non-static public out here see if you see out here 
if you see out here the the syntax duplicate field it will tell you so i have to make the reference variable as being very much different so i put it c5 similarly like public so these two are nothing but default static reference variable this is default uh, non static reference variable this is public static reference variable c4 public non static reference variable c5 and similarly like this i can have for protected and private so this finishes the example of an object and this this is how we saw how we can break the rule and the different aspects of the object creation and the usage of the reference variables okay now i'm restricting myself for this example with the static uh, default and static uh, what do you call non uh, non static uh, default global variable not global variable reference variable okay you look at the different access specifiers and all in the later sessions and that is why i'm not giving you examples for that thanks for watching it if you have any questions you can revert to us appreciate it your timing